welcome to Tech Tuesday, presented by Delta Media Group, where we made you some content. So today, we are going to take a look at the SMS opt-in page. This is actually a dedicated page to have customers opt-in to the receipt of SMS messages from the DeltaNet. Um, to give you a little background on the whole SMS system and how that works, and you can just search our channel for SMS and you'll find the other videos related to turning on a virtual phone number so that you can send those messages, and then also how you go about configuring those and how the opt-in works. But to give you kind of the Cliff's Notes version, what it comes down to is you can turn on the ability to send SMS messages through the DeltaNet um, by procuring a virtual phone number. When it comes to sending SMS messages, the rules around the ability to kind of mass market through SMS or through text messages are a lot more strict than those used in email. So the only way that we can send those messages or the only way the system can send those messages out from your virtual number is if the customer has opted in. So that means that each of the customers that sign up on your website would have to opt in or any customers that you import um, or just manually add into the Delta Net would have to either opt in to SMS, like explicitly opt in to the receipt of SMS messages, or when they sign up on your website, there is an option where they can select they want SMS or text messages to be their preferred communication method. So that also acts as a way of opting them in to receiving those text messages. Now, there is an additional way that you can reach out to all of your customers after they're already in the system. So let's say that you, you, know, you have a bunch of customers in the Delta Net, you've imported them, they've been added over time, and now you've just secured a virtual phone number and you want to be able to market to them through like email campaigns and um, you know, mass messaging via text message. In order for them to be able to receive those, they need to opt into text messaging. So a way that you can do that is you can send them a message with a link to a dedicated SMS opt-in page. So this is a page that actually allows them to see the number that they're using, so the number the text messages will go to, and then click a button to essentially opt into those messages so that they'll start receiving them. So the way that you can send out that initial message, or the message that basically requests that they opt in, is by adding a special link to a mass email that you send out. Now, you can add this link to an email campaign or really anything in the system where you send an email. So any, any place where you would send out an email in the Delta Net allows you to do this. Um, but for the, the purposes of this example, I'm going to set up an email blast as if I were just sending an email blast out to all of my customers with this opt-in message so that it goes out to everyone and then everyone has the option of opting in. So to go about that, I first I'm going to go to the email blast page and like anything else in the Delta Net or in Delta Net 6, um, there are a few ways that I can do it. So first, right here on the dashboard page, you can see on my, my dashboard in particular, has a link directly to Email Blast. Um, alternatively, I could go over here to Marketing and then down to Message Blasts and Mail Merge. So I'll go ahead and click on that just to get us there. Um, but I could also use the Quick Actions bar up here in the top and I could just type in um, Email Blast or Message Blast and that'll also give me a link to this page. So however I choose to get here, once I get to this page, you can see we are on Email Blast, and it's going to default to Email Blast, which you can tell right here. Uh, so from here, I just fill this out like any other any other Email Blast. And um, you know we've got some other videos that kind of detail all the options here for Email Blast, so I'll just run over the first parts real quick here. Um, like any other message, it's going to set the current day as my um, send on date, but I can modify that if I wanted to wait and have it go out another time. I can put in my customers here, so in this case we'll say um, if I wanted to send everyone, you can see when I click on it, this group all marketing customers actually comes up. So we'll go ahead and click on that. There we go. Now we can click out of that field. So now all marketing customers will be my recipient. So basically that is um, every active customer in my, in my database. Uh, from here I can copy myself on the message if I want. Um, I can add additional CC or BCC recipients and then ultimately put a subject line in here. Um, please opt into SMS messages. <laughs> you probably won't want to go with that, but um, you know you can come up with a nice, uh, a nice sounding subject line to go with this message. Uh, from here, you can add file attachments if you want. Um, for this type of message, I don't know why you would, but just to mention that you can add file attachments. And now down here, we'll go ahead and create our message. So, um, dear, we'll use our system variables. Let's do uh, customer first name. There we go. Please click on the link below to opt into text messaging. Uh, 
Again, you may not want to go with that exact phrasing, but <laughs> um, the point is you can put out that message as whatever you want. And then ultimately what you're going to do here is insert a custom link or what's going to become a custom link for any recipient of this email that they'll be able to click on and it takes them to their own specific SMS opt-in page. So again, that is under system variables. And if you haven't looked under system variables before, I mean, you saw me choose customer first name from there, but there are a variety of things I can do here. And you can see there are quite a many options. Um, you know, so if I want to fill in a office phone number, if that changes, I can add that as a variable. For the customer related variables, it's typically the most useful, you know, full name, first name, last name. So basically anything I click on in here, when the email goes out will actually be replaced by the information that it kind of signifies in here. The most important one in this case, or for this particular video, is the SMS opt-in URL. So if we click there, you can see there's my SMS opt-in URL. So now when this message goes out, this will actually be replaced by a link to the page. Now, like I said, that link will also be specific. I mean, this customer, you know, it's sending out to the entire customer group. So every customer gets their own individual email. So each one will have their own first name, first off, and a link, an SMS opt-in link specific to them so that when they land on it, and I'll show you what the page looks like, but when they land on it, it'll be their version of that page. So um, really this is all there is to it. From here, you can go in and you can you know, change out this content however you'd like. You can add formatting. This is the full email WYSIWYG editor. So um, you can add pictures, you can add additional links in here. So there are a lot of different things that you can do. So once you have your email content built out the way you want it, now I could say this is a draft if I want to use it later, or save it as a template if I want to use it over and over again. You know, maybe um, I just want to send it out to newer customers, so I'll just create a group of customers every month and send it out to those, that kind of thing, so the newest ones get it repeatedly. Um, and then also I'll mention that you can use this in email campaigns. So what you could do is set this up as the first email to go out as part of an email campaign, and then have all of your customers automatically added to that campaign so that as soon as they're added, they'll get this email on their own. Um, so that can be kind of a nice way to do it. Uh, now, so once you have this all set up, you just go down here, click on send, and that'll be it. It'll fire off this message to everybody else. Um, the only content in this message will be what's here because it is an email blast. Um, so it won't have like a template or a wrapper or anything around it. Uh, but it will include the opt-out links that are included at the bottom of all the emails that are sent out by the DeltaNet. So there you go. Now if I click on preview here, you can see there's an idea of what it'll look like, but obviously this will be filled in with the customer's first name, and this will be filled in with that URL. So there you go. Now, once they receive this email, uh, ideally they will pick it up and they'll say, okay, I, I want to opt into receiving text messages, so they'll click on this link. That link will take them to a page that looks just like this. So it'll actually be loaded within your template. So this is kind of a, um, you know, it's a test template here, so it's not very pretty. <laughs> but it'll be your web page template, but the content will be loaded up as this SMS communication portion. Here it will be filled in with whatever mobile phone number we have on file for them. So if we don't have one, they have the opportunity to fill this in. Or if we do have one, but it's incorrect, you know, if there's one stored in the system, but it's not right, they can use this opportunity to actually update it. And now from here, they can choose whether or not they want to receive text messages at all. So this means that um, these would be like direct, direct text messages to them. And then additionally, whether or not they want to receive the automated text messages and notifications. So um, this really gives them the freedom to be able to not receive all kind of the mass text messages here, but still allow direct messages from you. So I would turn this off and now direct messages would be allowed but I wouldn't get any messages from like email campaigns and email blasts um, or any of the notifications that can go out through the text messaging system. But if I want to get everything, I'll just leave these this way and they'll default that way. So the idea is that the customer will see this, verify their number. Yep, I want to get text messages. Just click Save SMS Settings. And there we go. Your SMS settings have been updated just like that. So now at that point, I can add this customer to any campaign and that has text messaging included, or I can send out a um, message blast, so not an email blast like we just did, but if we go back over here, I can click on SMS blast, and I should add that the option here for SMS blast as well as the ability to add an SMS message to a campaign are only available if you have created a virtual phone number. Um, and we do have a video that goes through the details on creating a virtual phone number, but just to give you an idea in this one, if I click up here on my name and click on profile, and then scroll down here to the personal phone numbers section. Here we are, personal phone numbers. You can see I already have a virtual phone number provision, so I can click on manage if I want to go in and make any changes to it. But there would be a button 
here to create virtual phone number if I didn't already have one. So that's how you would add one. Um, as long as I've done that, I have those ability to create SMS messages, and this customer is now opted in, so they would have the ability to receive them. So there you go. As always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to send an email to support at deltagroup.com or give us a call, and we can walk you through this or anything else you need. Thanks a lot.